both on BFT1. So let's do some tests on VHF. Really, it's a UHF, 70 centimetre radio, but you can uh, load up VHF and even airband FM sort of frequencies. Uh, so we're going to try this out on GB3WR. I'm about a good 10 miles away from it. We're also going to try it on 145500 just locally here in my house. This is the programming software, and you just put it in and then write it to the radio. It works well. Right, we're out here in the garden now, and it is raining, so better not stay too long. But it does, it is actually picking up WR. If I stand in the right place, it does pick it up. And this is, you know, 10 miles from the repeater on two meters. So, you know, that's not, you know, being that it's not even a proper antenna, it did get it. So, two, zero, if we go one, to, two, three, four. I've put in GB3FI, M0FXB, and it does get it. But that is 70 centimetres. Now I've put in GB3BC, so I'm in Western Supermare, M0FXB. So you're not going to get it at all, M0FXB. It's not the proper antenna, but it does show you that... It, do, it does show you that you, you would receive something, maybe not very good, but you would receive something on the Bofeng BFT1. Um, and that this, you do, like, you do get, you don't have to have the radio right next to another radio for it to receive on two meters it will receive at, at a distance just think like i said gb3wr is 10 miles from here so bye for now and uh, let me know what you think all the best so here's a map and i'm, I'm in western supermare which is here and gb3wr is here on the mendip hill so quite a distance there i would say um Definitely over 10 miles. I am a bit elevated on a small hill, on the side of a hill here, but I'm not on top of it, I'm on the side of it. Um, so this radio does receive fine on VHF, um, you know, for the antenna that it's got. Um, but um, obviously I don't recommend you TX on it. But for receive, I think you're going to do better than you think on, on this little handy, whether you're on VHF and UHF. You know, it's a £15 pocket radio that's meant, really designed for 70 centimetres. So... Please like and subscribe to my channel if you find this interesting. Bye for now. Right, so I've been outside. It's not going to open it up on the uh, on this little thing. Uh, it does actually. It does open it up if I go on to uh, my 70 centimeter one. It opens that up, no problem. But look, I'm just going to keep this recording and I'm going to go let's go away a bit and uh, I'll tell you how far I am away. Just using. And don't forget, we're on two meters, so turn it up quite loud so I know you're going to hear it. And now we'll just stand back a bit. M0 FXP. Yeah, you can hear that. We're we'll actually go outside. Right, well, at the moment we're about 10 foot. M0 FXP. You can hear that. Let's go out in the garden. M0 FXP in the garden, about. All right, now we're uh, a bit further back. We're literally the other end of the garden, so a good hundred foot, and we're walking back now, quite fast, uh, like so. So we're keeping our overs short. Let me know. So, uh, but um, yeah, this is on two meters. Yeah. So see what you think. Bye for now. The newer ones, let's just take the back off. You've got a couple of screws here and a couple of screws here. I'll show you what the new battery looks like. So here it is here, and I'll just sort of pull that back. It does come off easy once the screws are off. And it just looks like that, and it lifts out. It just lifts from the bottom, look, like so. And then you can take it out, and you've seen this style before. So I think that's an upgrade. There's the model number I've got, just to show you. Put it back in. Goes in like that. A couple of noggins at the bottom. Just put them in first, like so. And then you just push it flat, and it sort of clips. Now would be a good time to put in your wristband because you can get to that quite easily now. And then you just put the two small screws in, the bigger ones here with the belt clip. 
So there you go, and you've got your charger at the bottom and programmer, headphone socket, single one there. That's what it looks like when it's together. Volume here, turn it up. It's quite loud, and it's, you know, it's a nice little toy, I think. Orange, when you're in the dark. Orange. Anyway, I'll have my unboxing video on the end of this video. Bye for now. So to turn it on, you just push the top thing here, comes on. And then the torch, push that button there, one torch.